Have you ever engaged in a serious debate over which is better, Harry Potter or Lord of the Rings? Have you ever played Smash or Pass using only characters from Star Wars and Marvel movies? If you answered yes to any of these questions, we have the podcast for you. Listen to the Steam Gentleman, the podcast where an expert panel convenes to ask the questions about pop culture and social commentary that other podcasts are afraid to ask. Listen to the Steam Gentleman on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you listen to podcasts. Ladies and gentlemen, Wrestling Fans International Association is back. That's right, the premier fan club association of the 1970s and 1980s has been revived and is back in business. Join today. It's free at the WFIA.org. That's T H E W F I A.org. You can also join us on Facebook at Facebook.com slash groups slash WFIA 1969. Everybody to the 1987 Super Mod. I am your host, Brad Drake, and this is the World Wrestling Federation. We are kicking off August, everybody, and you know what that means. It's all WWF all month long for the month of August. We are going to keep riding this train. We are getting our highest amount of viewers, our highest amount of feedback. Everybody seems to be digging the classic WWF save, so we are going to continue working with it. So we are spinning and on the tail of our last television tape for superstars, everybody. So we're still in the Baltimore Civic Center and now we are recording for International Wrestling Challenge. Now, it has been a while since I recorded an International Wrestling Challenge, so I know it's on TSN. And what is what are our other Networks that it's on. This may be it. It may just be on. No. Telewest, yes. Sky One. Uh, What do we got going here? Yeah, it's not Telewest. We're going to deselect that one. We're going to go with Sky One here. Very big. And I think that's it, everybody. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Uh, Yeah, commercial terrestrial. Yep, that's pay-per-view. Yep, we got this right. So it's Sky One and TSN. We're going to go ahead and save this selection. Hold on, what's that say? Oh, nothing that bothers us. So we're good to go. We're ready to record International Wrestling Challenge. Back at the main screen, no backstage instance. This is good. Absent workers, looks like nobody except who we expect out due to injury. So we're good to go ahead and start doing our card. Let's take a look at our card, everybody. In our opener, we're going to have the Shadows against the Rockers in a dark match. The other dark match is going to be Rick Gantner against the Ultimate Warrior. Going on to our main show here, Tommy Short is going to mix it up with Brutus the Barber Beef. Excuse me, Brutus the Barber Beefcake in our opening match. We're going to see a Ravishing Rick Rude promo. Big Ron Shaw is going to face Ravishing Rick Rude. The Islanders are going to lock horns with the newly formed Strike Force. Hulk Hogan is going to give us a promo. And in our main event, everybody, we're going to see a repeat of WrestleMania 2 as the red-hot King Kong Bundy climbs into that ring. The walking condominium climbs into that ring against Hulk Hogan. The title is on the line, everybody. You know what time it is. I know what time it is. Let's get to booking. And here we go with our opener. Dark match two versus two. We are going to indicate to the world that it is a dark match. And we have the Shadows versus the Rockers. 
And this one's easy. Plug and play here. Here are the shadows. They're plugged in. Here are the rockers. The shadows, I think, are coming to an end soon because the Los, Los Conquistadores are going to be coming in soon. Randy Colley leaves. So uh, Jose Luis Rivera ends up tagging with our man, one half of the tag team with Johnny Rods, currently Jose Estrada. And we'll most likely follow suit with that and do that. I think there are a couple other different versions of the Conquistadores, but uh, this is the one, the original one, and that's the one we're going to go with. So here we go, Marty Gennetti with the win. We go ahead and click on pre-show, good to go. All right, up next here in the dark matches, we have Gantner, future Texas hangman himself, against the Ultimate Warriors. Rick Gantner also bullpain? Uh, I don't remember. I did know this at one point, but I just don't remember right now. All right, one versus one, dark match. Here we go. Gantner versus Ultimate Warrior, who was still the Dingo Warrior at this point. But to us, he's forever the Ultimate Warrior. Here is Rick Gantner. Yes, Rick Gantner was bullpain. Yes. And here is the Ultimate Warrior. Um, the Warriors got an injury. What the hell? It's just a dark match. Oh, and they have poor chemistry. So we got everything going against us here. And, uh, so what? It's a dark match. I forgot Ultimate Warrior hurt his neck. For like a year. Not good. Nothing we're going to do about it either. All right, uh, the Ultimate Warrior gets the win here. This one is booked. We are now on to the main card. Tommy Short. Against Brutus Beefcake in a squash match here. Short versus Beefcake. And yes, it is going to be a short match for Beefcake. You like that? I got plenty more of those. <laughs> Here's Tommy Short. Here is Brutus Beefcake. Some cutting and strutting is going down, and the barber is getting the win here, everybody. This one's in the books. Up next, we have our promo with Rick Rude. We have to double-check Billy Red Lions was our man hosting for International Wrestling Challenge. Here is... Oh, we don't need him there. Uh, Bobby Heenan's going to do some talking here for Rick Rude. Ah, man, I got to redo all this stuff with the commentators. I forgot. This is the pain in the ass with these special shows. All right, there is Bobby Heenan, there is Rick Rude, and here is Billy Red Lions. Bobby Heenan, based on entertainment, Billy Red Lions and Rick Rude just hanging out here. Bobby Heenan cuts a promo with Rick Rude. All right, let's double check our commentary team here. It's been a while since I've done one of these shows, and I just don't remember. All right, where are we at here? International Wrestling Challenge. There we go. Gene Okerlund and Lord Alfred Hayes. Yes. All right, let's get that adjustment. There's Gene Okerlund. There is his lordship, Lord Alfred Hayes. All right, we will quickly adjust everything else. We don't have to for the openers here, but what the hell? Why not, right? right here's Gene Okerlund. Here is Lord Alfred Hayes. This one's saved. Here is Gene Okerlund. Here is Lord Alfred Hayes. This one is saved. Here is Mean Gene. Here is Lord Alfred Hayes. And we know we got the last one fixed there. All right, so here comes the upcoming bout between Big Ron Shaw and Rick Rude. And this one, again, is a squash match. Three minutes. Shaw versus Rude. Ron Shaw's got some shoot interviews out there. Interesting guy. Just did one not too long ago about his match with uh, David San Martino that he still, to this day, will not tell what happened there with the phantom submission from David San Martino. All right. Here is Gene Okerlund. Here is Lord Alfred Hayes. And here is Rick Root with the W, everybody. 
Up next here, we have the Islanders and Strike Force. Remember, Tito Santana has come in to save Rick Rude from his, I'm sorry, uh, Rick Martell from his beat, uh, two on one beatdown situations. And Strike Force has been born, and they are red hot, everybody. Red hot. All right. So we have, once again, Gene Okerlund and Lord Alfred Hayes. And we are going to give the win here to Strike Force because they need it. Rick Martell is going to get the win here for his team. That one is in the books. Up next, we have that big Hulk Hogan promo. Of course, Hulk Hogan gets an exclamation point for his big promo. Would you expect anything less? And he is talking to Billy Red Lions. Well, you know something, Billy Red Lions. I bet you that's what he said, too. <laughs> Here is King Kong Bunny. In actuality, these uh, international wrestling challenges were kind of just repackaged uh, challenge shows. Really, that's all they were. Um, we're having some more fun with it here. All right, here is Hulk Hogan, based on entertainment. Bundy off screen. Billy Red Ryan's just holding that microphone. Yes, I did just say Billy Red Ryan's. <laughs> Correction, it is Billy Red Lions, everybody. All right. Mean Gene on the mic. Lord Alfred Hayes right with him. This one's booked. Here comes our big main event, and this should get us an outstanding score. These two are going to go 15. And here we have it. Bundy versus Hogan. The title will be on the line. And here is Mean Gene Okerlund. Lord Alfred Hayes. King Kong Bundy. I used to like how uh, Mean Gene used to always say that. He used to like sing song it. King Kong Bundy. If any of you remember that, it was pretty cool how he used to say it. King Kong, Bundy. Like it was bouncing around, like the sound was bouncing around. It was really cool. Uh, Gene Okerlund was a radio master that then ventured into pro wrestling. That's why he had such awesome control over his voice and did such cool, cool stuff. All right, here we go. Hulkster. Over the condominium here. This one's all set. We are at 51 minutes. Um, Why don't we... Bump this main up a little bit to at least 16. There we go. All right, everybody, let's give it a shot, and let's see how this one goes. All right, the Shadows and the Rockers. Gennetti gets the win, of course, whopping 51 overall for these two teams. Ooh, this one's bad, 32 overall. Warriors got that neck injury. Him and Gantner don't do well together. Still wins with the big splash. And it doesn't matter because it's a dark match. Yeah. All right, up next. Beefer over Tommy Short with that sleeper hold. And you know Tommy Short got that balding mullet trimmed a little bit. You know it. Up next, outstanding promo here. Look at that one by Bobby Heenan getting his man over here with Billy Red Lions. 97. Whew, that's good stuff. Up next here. The Ravishing One gets the victory over Ron Shaw with that Rude Awakening. 68 overall for these two. Up next here, we have Strike Force and the Islanders. And Strike Force gets the W when Rick Martell submits Haku with that Boston crap. Good stuff here, everybody. Up next here, Hulk Hoekster gets an awesome 92 promo here. Hogan struggled when going off script. Give me a break. Come on. Come on, TEW, stop with the screwing. 92 overall. All right, up next here, we have King Kong Bundy. He drops the fall to the Hulkster here. Hogan wins with that big leg drop. Bundy gets a 77. Hogan gets a 97. And we got some takeaways here, leaving us with an 83 overall. All right, let's see how this one does. We do outstanding. We just get a restricted growth. Not too much we can do about that one. Let's make a speech. 85 overall. Hulkster is getting pointed out. We're pointing out Bundy. And you know what? Let's let's point out Gene Okerlund. Because Gene Okerlund deserves it. All right, Hogan. 
Great performance. Bundy, good example. And Gene Oakland, let's give Gene Oakland a hug. I wish Gene Oakland was still here and that we could give him a hug. Did you ever see these? I've never seen these before. Told they're worthless. Verbally eviscerated. Repeatedly <laughs> insulted. Has anybody ever used these before? If you have, let me know because that is great stuff. All right. We're going to make that speech. Here we go, everybody. Hulkster is pleased. Bundy is pleased. And Gene Okerlund is pleased. I knew he'd like my hug. Who doesn't like a hug from Vince McMahon? Everybody, we are rolling on to Wrestling Challenge. We got everything set up here. Ready to go. I actually screwed up and laid out Wrestling Challenge, thinking it was coming up next. And then remembered last minute that we had International Wrestling Challenge to record first. So we still have to decide a venue for the next show. And we will look at this. The Hulkster's got a new catchphrase, brother. This ought to be good stuff. You know it. Uh, what do we got going on here? Steve DeSalvo is gone. Um, just booked him for a month. And, uh, well, whatever. I screwed that one up. <laughs> All right. Wrestling, International Wrestling Challenge gets 1.6 million viewers. Good stuff. Bundy is tired. Savage is tired. Bundy is tired again. Savage is tired again. Savage is tired again. Savage is tired again. <laughs> That's all right. He's going to get a rest here for one day. All right, let's check our incoming Rip Oliver. He thinks he's worth 240 bucks. I'll tell you what, Rip. I don't think you're worth it. Nah, he's a good hand. Let's give him a 75% increase. All right, that should make him happy. All right, quick look around the game world here. NWA Road Warriors over Wyndham and Rhodes. That's a, that's a good main event. Flare over Lasertron. 99. Yeah. Don't worry, everybody. Version 10.1 fixes all this up a little bit. Rock and Roll Express over the Powers of Pain. Good stuff. Midnight Express over Ron Simmons and Kendall Wyndham. Uh, all right. I don't see... The need to look around for anything else, everybody. So that one's going to do it for us. For those of you that are new to the channel, please make sure you hit that subscribe button and drop us a message below. Let us know how you found the channel and what you think of us so far. For all of you who are looking for more, you can't get enough. Check us out at Patreon, patreon.com slash powercast network. For just $5, you'll get access to all of our spreadsheets. You'll get access to version 10.1 of the Super Mod. You will get access to all of our shows early and ad-free. And not to mention, everybody, there is so much more, including bonus shows. We just did a couple of those. And for those of you looking for us on social media, check us out on Facebook, facebook.com slash 1987 Supermod. All right, everybody, thank you, and we will see you next time.